the U.S. military announced that somehow they have lost track of a Marine Corps F-35 fighter jet, which is now apparently just somewhere out in the country. The situation is, in fact, so dire that the military press office, which is normally very, very, very tight-lipped, they had to issue a statement asking the American public to help them find the missing jet. They even set up a hotline for people to call. Now, if that all sounds too ridiculous to be true, let's go through the story together, starting at the very beginning. Right after you take a super quick moment to smash those like and subscribe buttons, which will quite literally force the YouTube algorithm to share this video and this content with ever more people. Now, to start with, around 5.30 p.m. yesterday, the official Facebook page for the joint military base located at Charleston, South Carolina, they posted the following message informing the American public of a missing aircraft. Quote, personnel from Joint Base Charleston and Marine Corps Air Station Buford are responding to a mishap involving an F-35B Lightning II jet from Marine Fighter Attack Training Squadron 501 with the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing. The pilot ejected safely and was transferred to a local medical center in stable condition. Emergency response teams are still trying to locate the F-35. The public is asked to cooperate with military and civilian authorities as the effort continues. If you have any information that would assist the recovery teams, please call the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing Public Affairs Office. Meaning they don't know where the plane is and they're asking the American public for help. And by the way, just as an aside, if you happen to come across this aircraft, I'll throw the phone number down into the description box below this video for your convenience. So if you happen to find the plane, well, you can call that number. Regardless, the missing plane in question here is not a regular F-35. This is a Marine Corps F-35B Lightning II stealth fighter, with many aspects of its design being world-class in stealth-related technology. The airframe is shaped in a way that minimizes the radar cross-section, so it's hard or, in fact, nearly impossible to be seen on radar. In fact, I've read that it's as hard to spot as a golf ball in the middle of the sky. And then also, the entire thing is made from RAM, which is radar-absorbent materials, making it even harder to track. And these stealth abilities appear to now be working perhaps too well given the fact that the military apparently can't find the thing. And as you likely imagined, these planes are not cheap. The price tag for one of these F-35s is around $80 million, with the entire F-35 program, including the planes, the upgrades, and the maintenance, costing the American taxpayers a cool $1.7 trillion, at least. Which is all well and good in order to maintain air superiority, unless, of course, you lose the plane, which is exactly what happened. Now, this missing F-35 belonged to one of the training squadrons within the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, located over in South Carolina. And apparently, what happened was that this fighter jet was, on Sunday afternoon, flying over top North Charleston. At some point, an incident occurred. Now, it's not exactly clear what the incident was. However, whatever it was, the incident caused one of the pilots to eject from his plane. Now, fortunately, that pilot landed safely and has now since been treated and is apparently in stable condition. However, the plane without a human pilot. It continued to fly on autopilot, and for some reason, the transponder aboard the plane is not working. Meaning that as long as you believe the official story that's coming out of the military press office, they are not able to track the jet. The whereabouts are currently unknown, and given the fact that it's a stealth jet with some of the most advanced stealth-related technologies, well, they're just not able to find it. Which is why they issued this call to the public, asking the American people to call if they see a plane crash on their lawn, or if they're jogging through the woods, they look up and they see a plane stuck in the trees. Regardless, at the time that we're recording this episode, which is now about 22 full hours after the Charleston military base released the initial statement, as of yet, the plane has not been recovered. Although, according to a spokesperson for the base, the plane is no longer in the air.